Cecil Taylor, Taylor's first recording, Jazz Advance, featured Lacey and was released in 1956. Throughout the 1950s and 1960s, Taylor's music grew more complex and moved away from existing jazz styles. In the early 1960s, an uncredited Albert Taylor worked with Taylor, jamming and appearing on at least one recording, four, which was unreleased until appearing on the 2004 Ayla box set Holy Ghost, rare and unissued recordings. Lions playing, strongly influenced by jazz icon Charlie Parker, retained a strong blues sensibility and helped keep Taylor's increasingly avant-garde music tethered to the jazz tradition. Taylor recorded sparingly in the 2000s, but continued to perform with his own ensembles and with other musicians such as Joe Locke, Max Roach, and Amiri Barraka. In 2004, the Cecil Taylor Big Band at the Iridium Jazz Club was nominated a Best Performance of 2004 by All About Jazz. In 2010, Triple Point Records released a deluxe limited edition double LP titled Alanthus Forward Slash Altissima, bilateral dimensions of two root songs, a set of duos with Taylor's longtime collaborator Tony Oxley that was recorded live at the Village Vanguard. The album Chinampus released by Leo Records in 1987, is a recording of Taylor reciting several of his poems while accompanying himself on percussion. According to Stephen Block, free jazz originated with Taylor's performances at the Five Spot Cafe in 1957 and with Ornette Coleman in 1959. In 1964, Taylor co-founded the Jazz Composers Guild to enhance opportunities for avant-garde jazz musicians. Despite Scott Yanow's warning regarding Taylor's forbidding music, he praises Taylor's remarkable technique and endurance, and his advanced, radical, original, and uncompromising musical vision. In 1982, jazz critic Stanley Crouch wrote that Taylor was gay, prompting an angry response, B21IP765D3E, 